Hi and welcome back. I'm gonna see today I'm gonna sell this stupid fucking Arabian and I'm gonna see about getting me a gun. Someone's gonna help a fella out. And I'm gonna give Somebody, this guy a hug. Please. Hey mister. Hey buddy. Can I get a buck, mister? Why are you so close? Sure. Thank you! Oh, thank you, mister! Which he goes straight to the bar with, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right. The Arabian's really pretty and I really do like it, but like not enough to deal with it throwing a constant temper tantrum and being the size of a rocking horse. I got space for you if you need stabling. Sorry, buddy. If you ain't got the papers, I can't give you the full price. Good saddle will go a real long way. Trust me. I like this fuzzy saddle. I think I'm gonna keep it for now. Okay, I gotta get my hair did. Cause I think it's grown out a little bit. Okay. Jesus! Ain't one for fashion, but that outfit sure is, uh... Come Wait. on, little boy, let's settle this like men. You're a thin little beer away from soiling hey, yourself. Hey, hey, Reckon I'll pass. After a trim? What kind yeah. of thing are you looking for? No, thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, that looks good. When does the pomade look like? Okay, so now I know that I don't like the pomade. Arthur's got that cut on his chin. And I think I need a shave. Well, people ask where you got it, you be sure to tell them. I can't believe anyone trusts that man to cut their fucking hair with them chops. Thank you. Hey. No thank you. Oh, there you are. Alright, let's take a look at Rooney Dooney. Not really the more ideal. More bounty hunters go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. That was kind of a bust, wasn't it? Uh huh.
That was a fat disappointment, wasn't it? Got what I need. Pickups are back. Hello. Let's go see Mary. Mary. Quite contrary. The <laughs> sheepies. The lilies. Lilies are pretty. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Bitch, it's your house. She is there. Call her for you. Either is or isn't. Hello, Arthur. Mary? Uh, um. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. There's, so um, where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Of Where course. is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Hmm. I feel for Mary Linton. I really do. I really do. Because honestly, if I were in her shoes, I would have done the same thing too. Love just isn't enough when your man's a criminal.
how Arthur's per well, purse has a little iguana head on it. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, you good girl? You gonna share that bridge, bro? Mister, sorry. Please, Mister, help out a fellow traveler. I told you I can't. That's cute. One dollar. Yep. One whole dollar. Oh, he's up there. Uh. Knowing me, this is probably the long way around. Easy way in a hard way, and I, I guess I'm doing the semi easy, medium hard way. Wow, I guess I really did go the wrong way. Yeah, because that's what I wanted. Was oh my god, I'm an idiot. I really. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I don't really come up here all that much because, as you can tell, I fall on my ass and run into trees and shit all the time, and like. I mean, like, why come up here if I don't have to?
Gentlemen. Shall us take you. Shall us take you. Shall oh my god. Shall us take you from safety. Shall us take you. Shall us take you. Just let me eat them all off that cliff. <clears throat> Shall us safety. Shall us uh, safety. Gonna speak to the boy? Harfer? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. A path to truth. Yeah. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, mm, I, I, sir? Let me kill all of them, I swear to God. Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic. Stop it, Arthur. That's enough, Arthur! Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I gotta go through the dialogue. Sorry! Just stop! Let's talk about this! They're just using you! Telling you what you wanna hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Uh, uh, you good, girl? You pop up out of nowhere? Sister's worried about you. This is none of your damn business. That's a good girl. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. I didn't even know where he's going. You little jackhead. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those ah! guys? You think that you totally so Jamie can make that jump, but I can't? Okay. Back to what you were saying. That gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm I'm gonna I don't wanna live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. I 
warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Oh my god, I killed him! <laughs> okay, let's try this one more time. If not, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna I shut the Xbox off. off. I'm, I'm oh gonna, god. I don't wanna live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. Okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. Turtle. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Shalonians, he's got a turtle on. I get it. This I get it. I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Don't think too hard. <laughs> apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. He's got a point there. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. Wait, where are you taking me? He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Yeah. Poor Arthur. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. What's the problem here? We going in then? 
Yeah, why are Arthur walking backwards? Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come He's home. He's got a turtle purse, too. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel man. like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. it is. Um, what is on the agenda? Long time, girl. You're fixing to make I don't understand why they're so fucking sensitive. There's definitely something I'm missing here, and it's driving me fucking bananas. So I'm gonna follow the trail over here. Some guts. And a leg. Maybe I gotta follow it the opposite direction. I feel really dumb. Like, I'm obviously missing something. There it is! Fuck! 
God, I'm dumb. Uh, through the eye, too. Uh, whoa. <sighs> Poor bastard. Fuck, am I ever done? So, his hiding spot in online you can actually hide in. It makes you completely invincible in there, and um, you're your blip won't show up on the map either. Fine specimen. Oh, God, he took pictures of it, too. this all nasty surprise or maybe it's both maybe it is a nasty surprise even though you knew I was going to be here which is it you should think about that save yourself thinking about what's about to happen now I'm not going to lie it's not going to be nice and fun I mean it'll be fun for me but it won't be nice for you <laughs> I can't pull out my knife Looking around. What is that a person? Yeah, he sewed the lip shut. Dear Mr. Editor, I must say I am alarmed by the paucity of coverage your August journal has dedicated to the recent killings in the region. The perpetrator of these crimes is clearly a man of great intelligence, power, and no small amount of cunning. He presents a clear and present danger to all readers of your publication, and most probably to the writers of it as well. 
I would suggest you begin to treat him and his creations with the reverence that they deserve. God help us all. Yours, a concerned citizen. My dear Edmund, what has gotten in to you of late? Our dinners together, which for such... Sorry, I'm butchering this. Which were once such a pleasure to me have become a terrible strain. You appear at times tired, distracted. Fibrile? I've never heard that word before. And agitated. And sometimes all of those things at once. It was a mistake for you to have ever moved out of home. Oh god, that makes so much sense. <sighs> While I approved of your decision to forego marriage in order to spend more time with me, I did not envisage that this that it would be this kind of company. Maybe a wife is what you need after all. Your kindly neighbor has informed me of your comings and goings from your rooms at all hours of the night. Does this mean that there is a close friendship your mother doesn't know about? I hope to Oh, I thought it said I hope to taste. Oh my god. I'm so creeped out. <laughs> I hope your taste and companionship has improved these past years, but I shall keep an open mind. I should like an explanation of all of this from you presently. Your loving and concerned mother. P.S. I hope you're eating and sleeping and taking... Oh. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. So much of this makes sense now. Okay. I wish I could wear my lantern on my hip and online like this. I'm not giving you a cell until you introduce this boy. Now put him down there. Fella been... Been... Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. <sighs> head over to the cellar of that broke-down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, come on, you. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry, Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. You know, you are a frightening fella. Well, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Thank you. Thank you. My lord. What a monster. Yeah. 
Well, like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. Uh, I think he killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. Right here. Here. Here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, sir. Um. What a mess! Where's a deputy when you need one? That's... Whew. Okay. I heard someone squealing. I never fully um, solved that before. That was the first time that I've seen that. Ugh, like I gave me the creeps. Then again, most people do. <laughs> but that one was definitely the creepiest out of what I've seen in a very long time. I love how I just... Ugh. This horse gets so disgusting every time we go into Valentine. Dressed up like a fucking clansman. It's one of the women. Who is that? Oh my god, that it's Strauss. Peculiar outfit, Mr. Morgan. He's going for a piss. I think. Yeah, he would piss that way. I don't think he's actually pissing, but that's how I imagine. Oh my god. Oh, he's got like a cheek. Just one cheek. Bill. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> oh my god. That's fucking great. Oh, that's just, that's just Arthur's father, Arthur's dog, Hosea Dutch, and Arthur. It's probably from Bodicea. Let's go sleepies. I'm gonna sleep until noon and then do John Boy's mission. Beautiful. This is a great stopping point too. Thank you for 